Hi y'all. I just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about the Bermuda Triangle. Hi y'all. I'm sure y'all heard of the Bermuda Triangle. It's located in the Atlantic Ocean. Um, Bermuda, San Juan, Puerto Rico, and Miami, all connected in the shape of a triangle. Now, there are some skeptics that think that the triangle's just a myth. That it, I assure you that is not the case. This is a movie that's set in the Bermuda Triangle that you can get. It's very good. Well, back to what the skeptics think. They think that gas bubbles apparently can suck a big ship out of the ocean. If that were the case, I don't think the Titanic would have made it out of port. And I seriously doubt that ga gas bubbles can suck a plane out of the sky. So, that being said, I mean, scientists experiment with toy boats and gas bubbles, but those are toy boats, okay? I can do that in my sink, you know? It's really not that hard to do. But, fact, fact of the matter is, the Bermuda Triangle is something that has never been explained. Take the disappearance of Flight 19 in 1945, December 5th, 1945. Five Navy bombers disappeared, and then the, the flying boat that was looking for them also disappeared. What does that tell you? Every time they they think they find one of the planes, it's just a different World War II plane. They're, you're never going to find something that's not going to be found. It's, it's impossible. That's life and history. I mean, that's one of the things that makes life worth living or things like this, the, the mysteries of life. And the Bermuda Triangle is one of those things. That's why I like to study it, and I like to find out more about it. Just an interesting subject, just like the Titanic and her sister ships, or the Red Baron, in World War One. There, uh, I'm really I'm a historian, so I'm into history. The um, Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle, is a uh, it's a place where a lot of different things happen. Storms that come out of nowhere. And, uh, lots of UFO sightings. Um, different time zones, or time frames, I should say. Where you can go into a different time. There was this one uh, plane that uh, went off the radar for 10 minutes. And they arrived, what they say was ten, 10 minutes late, but their watches all stopped at the same time. So they were, they thought they were on time, but when they were in that, that time warp for 10 minutes. So, whatever goes on there, I mean, who knows? It doesn't take everything or everyone. The triangle picks what and who it wants. I want to establish that now. Because... It, I mean, people say, "Well, like I, I flew over it, and uh, I'm still here." And I'm like, "Well, because the triangle didn't want you. If it did, you would not be here." You know, it, it picks what it wants, and it knows what it wants. Like in World War One, it wanted the USS Cyclops. Took it. Wanted those uh, pilots in World War Two. Took them. Uh, and it's Columbus is one of the one of the first ones that uh, spotted weird li lights over Bermuda's wires in 1492 on his journey to the New World. So he was, he was one of the first ones to report it. So. Saw these strange lights zooming over the sky and Bermuda's waters.
Pretty, uh, pretty interesting that history of it goes that far back. Probably before he was probably just the first one to actually record it. A lot of, a lot of the instances in the Bermuda Triangle don't get recorded. That's the problem. And most of the, uh, most of the time, the wreckage is never found, except for maybe you know, like a small fishing boat that goes down there or something. You usually find those. These are like famous ships and stuff. Those planes, they just, they just vanish. Kind of, kind of wonder where they go, huh? Yeah. Like I said, one of the great mysteries of life. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope we do a more in-depth uh, show at a later date. I'm just making sure my uh, camera works. Anyways, have a nice day, y'all.